Hello and welcome to a Charlotte Hornets match preview. This is for the Charlotte Hornets' first Portland Trailblazers match that will be hosted in the Spectrum Centre at 7pm Eastern Standard Time. And that will take place tomorrow. Let's get into it. So, um, leading the points for both teams, we've got CJ McCollum with 24.2. He's really um needed to up his scoring with Damian Lillard shooting so poorly to start the season six games in. Wouldn't read too much into it, to be fair. Miles Bridges, 25.5 points per game going crazy at the moment. And then you've got Nurkic, 12.2 rebounds. It'll be interesting to see how the Hornets can contain him. Mason Plomley, 9.3 rebounds. He's been averaging close to a double-double each game. And Lomelo Ball, 6 assists. And Damian Lillard, 7.6 assists. Damian Lillard, you already know, he's always going to contribute. He's going to find a way to contribute, even if he's not shooting the ball well. Um, so the Trailblazers are three and two. Hornets are four and two on the year. Hornets played six, and the Trailblazers played five. So um, the Trailblazers are coming off an one hundred eleven to ninety two point victory over the LA Clippers, um, where Damian Lillard was actually getting back some shooting form. Um, twenty five points he had, and he shot five or seven from three, which was unlike his about twenty percent. Um, overall shooting percentage for the first four games so he is certainly a scary player on the Halloween day game I believe um, Nurkic had a double double for them in that game he is pro- yeah like I said before it's going to be interesting to see how the Hornets um, contain him after the Hornets just got dominated by Bam Adebayo who is arguably much a better a much better centre but still both beasts on the paint um so I think this game this game will be close and it will come down to a range of things. I think a couple of big things will be the performance of performances of the two point guards, Damian Lillard and Lamelo Ball. How will they perform? Both have been struggling a little bit the last few games. Damian Lillard, mind you, got back to a bit of form that last game, but still Lamelo has been struggling the last two games. Damian Lillard didn't have a great start to this season. So it'll be interesting to see how those two play, and I assume whoever plays better out of those two, it will go a long way for the team to win the game. So it will be really nice for the Hornets fans to see Lamelo bounce back. Um, He's just not been finishing at the rim very well, and it's just the odd game his three ball doesn't drop, and that that's just going to happen. It's... It's going to be the case. Some days it's going to be hot and some days it's not, you know. It's make or miss league. Um, so, yeah, Halloween day game. Hornets come off the loss to the Heat, looking to bounce back and extend their record to 5-2 and two against a Portland Trailblazers team. That will be, I reckon, they're going to be similar teams this year. Both going to be pretty much play-in teams, I hope, at least for the Hornets' sake. And I think the Trailblazers will be a play-in team. Or fighting for a playing team at least. So, yeah, you know the Trailblazers are going to come out swinging and playing with a lot of heart. Let's get to the injury report now. So we have good news on the injury front for Charlotte Hornets fans. We have PJ Washington. He played. He is no longer on the injury report. He played against the Miami Heat, and, yeah, he did decently well. And now we've got Terry Rozier coming off that right angle sprain, who is probable for the game. So it's really good news for Hornets fans. And maybe a couple more games, touch wood, that until the, it's a fully healthy Hornets team. So I'm really looking forward to see Terry Rozier back in the starting lineup. Um, for the Trailblazers side, in terms of injuries, they have Tony Snell, who is out. Well, this is according to ES- the ESPN app, so... I might be wrong, but that is all I've got in terms of the injury front for both sides. Both teams with just one injury, as it appears to be to me. Um, get into my three things that I'm looking forward to seeing in this game. The first one, and it's pretty easy, it's a pretty simple headline. Can Lamelo bounce back? It was the same last game. He couldn't, and it hindered the Hornets' chances of winning the game. So now let's get into the second thing. Can Cody Martin continue playing really well? Um, that will be really key for the Hornets off the bench. The Hornets have been winning the bench, um, you know, winning the bench stats for most of these games. So it will be interesting to see how it goes in this game against the Trailblazers. And I assume it will be key um, for the success of the Hornets. And the third thing will be can Terry Rozier, will Terry Rozier play? And if he does, how will it look? Will he look like he's hobbling around and holding it back, holding himself back a little because of the injury, and 
injury concerns, or will he be playing full strength and hitting some threes for the Hornets, which we all know they need at the moment. So that is the Charlotte Hornets first, the Portland Trailblazers for the Halloween game. Um, yeah, that's the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here and you enjoy this kind of content. I'll be back with you tomorrow for a review of the game. Enjoy it. Have a good day.